You're here again. I really don't know why, but welcome back anyway. Now, if, you, uh, if you've been paying attention, we should be starting a new show, and one that has been battling it out in the votes, and some people are going to be disappointed, but oh well. And as usual, I really don't know much about this show at all. Apart from one person was quite happy that I'd be going down the Moe Blob type show route, which I don't know what I meant to get from that, but we'll see, I guess. But because I really don't have anything to go on, I'm going to stop procrastinating for once and actually get around to starting an episode. Sit back and enjoy the first episode of Demi-chan wa Kateritai. I think that's right. What have I signed up for? <laughs> so a good 30 seconds of just humming. I think she's a bit early. You gotta love uh, the Japanese when they put in um, sounds for like gulping, because it's just not what it actually sounds like. But then again, gulp doesn't sound like what it's meant to either. So, what do I know? Headless. So. Well, she liked the doula hand from Konosuba. Just hopefully not as evil. <laughs> okay, so she's ice-based in some way. Oh. So we got a... What looks to be a vampire, a doula hand, and some sort of ice thing. I don't remember many ice-based mythologies, really. Very nice. I saw that. Or oh, didn't see that. If you... if you get what I mean. That's basically me on any day I go to work. It would be an interesting topic to study, I guess. Does he have ulterior motives behind it? It sounds like my excuses where I just get a bunch mixed up into one. This becomes a very elaborate ruse. Hmm. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> And the only one I didn't guess is not telling us.
Fair enough. So it's kind of like how you've got mutants in, uh, you know, like the Marvel universe, kind of. So it's just living among humans. Does she seem... Why does she seem so flustered with just general conversation? She's not going to do well as a teacher, is she? Okay. And you're a teacher. That's not p because she's a succubus, but that's because she's just a demi-human. But I, I wonder what kind of trouble she's gotten herself in in the past to be able to, to have to limit any kind of social contact. That's got to be really annoying for both them and her. <laughs> so is she scouting out the school beforehand then? Fair enough. And if she's a vampire, she's a bit more nocturnal. <laughs> Calm? Maybe not. Why is everyone getting so flustered so easily? No? Biology, yeah. He's a teacher, so yeah. Well, that's going to be an issue, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe you should go speak to the head first so she doesn't start to freak out. So these supposedly rare demi-humans seem to crop up quite easily. I guess she hasn't given anything away, but... Was it the fact of seeing a, a, the doodle hands just severed head, or it's just okay? 
since he tried so hard and it all just fed into his lap. As long as it's just a passing interest and nothing too much deeper. Especially if he's meant to be their teacher. She's easily excited, isn't she? Or pleased as well, I guess. Ah, uh, demi human is now derogatory. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know why, but it's always a play on the uh, English saying, isn't it? She's one of these characters that try to get get away with just being annoying and excitable and a bit dense. How did she become a vampire? Oh, that was easy. Well, he's going to get his dissertation written, isn't he? She has a pillow to rest on. That's amazing. <laughs> hmm. Really? They really wanted to get away from that previous conversation about her head didn't they? Okay. So is it all genetic based? So basically, she doesn't have a re uh, reflection. Does she not like garlic either? And but uh, yeah, sunlight. Mm -hmm. Find another one to talk to. <laughs> Not what it, that tale was meant. They'd kill a normal person as well, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe.
Okay, so it's just an extreme case of anemia. Yeah, has she tried it? Oh. Does that mean that people donate blood to feed vampires? So it's not for any, like, medical emergency. Well, it kind of is, I guess. Food. But... Okay, quite quite nice way you you did that there, girl. <laughs> that was quite blunt, wasn't it? She has a very, uh, she has a problem with personal space. I got that kind of inference from her story as well. Probably didn't help the way it was animated. Hmm. She's embarrassed. Hmm. That's weird. He could work as a, as a psychiatrist, couldn't he? <laughs> I don't know... I know he's interviewing a demi-human as well, but should he be making fun of a student like this? The facial expressions so far are quite cool. Is she trying to get over her fear? Or fear isn't really a fear. Pencil's nice. She's the Joker, isn't she? She's going to get... She's going to be very grating. Oh, that's going to be so irritating. Well, it would be to live with, isn't it? The only way that you can move your head is to literally move your head. You can't nod or anything. First person to ask her about it. Sometimes people actually want to talk about stuff. You might think that you're 
being uh, considerate. But it could also be seen as just being condescending. Are they going to slowly get all the classmates around to not having this weird... I don't know what to say, what to call it, but... Aversion to talking about the... Stuff that affects demi-humans? She has a cunning plan. Oh, at least stand a bit further away. <laughs> That's also going to be really irritating as well. To get a better view of something, you've got to literally prop your head up. He'd probably write the answer, wouldn't he? He's not quite as dense. But I guess he's a teacher, so... <sighs> I wonder if I was that dumb when I was a kid. How does a Dulahan drink, or eat for that matter? Is her, what is the bottom of her neck look like? Does it look like a severed head? Probably not in this world, but these are convers these are questions that I want answered. Hmm. Does she eat and drink by putting it in her neck flame directly? Or is her throat, like she tries drinking, like, like a portal? I can understand what you meant now by it being ex excessively... Sure, let's use that word again. Just moe. Trying to be cute and... That kind of thing. So it is just following the life of this biology teacher and being introduced to these characters who are going to be introduced into society and that kind of thing. I don't know how deep it's going to get or if it's just going to be one of those funny yet trying to be heartwarming stories. Okay, let me preface this right here. I don't know how this episode is going to turn out because I have no idea how to react to cutesy moe type Things and it wasn't as batshit insane as like Nishijo, so I can't use the cover of comedy as a jumping off point. I guess I can say is um, the fact that they're trying to use these demi humans quirks, I don't know what you really call them, as a kind of talking point for disabilities or 
minority groups or you know stuff that actually plagues our own society so that kind of juxtaposition or well, that's the wrong word that kind of parallel is uh I, hmm, it's nice to think about i don't know how it would how it would come across or exactly how political that this show is trying to be instead of just trying to you know go get those uh get those feels out there so yeah, don't hate on me if I come across in any certain ways during this because I just need to get accustomed to this particular genre because even though I have done kind of slice of life before, this is taking it a bit further than that. And um, I just haven't had the exposure to it yet. That should change. So everyone should be pleased at least somewhat for me that I'm growing as a person. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I did like how they uh, introduced the different kind of species, I guess. Say, for in let's take the vampire. We have a vampire. And in the intro, it was showing, like, oh, she doesn't have a reflection. Ah, nice. Um, she doesn't like bright sunlight. Fair enough. And then it goes into, are all of the vampire legends true? No, not really. Because... Well, you've got to take some liberties, some creative license when you're dealing with supernatural beings. Because at one point, maybe the story was kind of close to the actual thing. And then it, during successive years and generations, the story has changed to a point where it's now sparkle in the sunlight. What terrible movies. Christ. But it was kind of nice how it kind of tried... But it was kind of nice how it tried to build the world, I guess, and um, explaining what the mutations are, and it's mostly genetic. Whether there are some that are contagious it would be uh, nice to see, but I don't know if they'll expand on any of that. And also, how do the abilities work? Because vampire... Just is a bit anemic all the time. Doolahan is technically alive while headless. That one, I okay, cool. The succubus one, unable to directly manipulate people uh, and people's moods, and yeah, let's leave it at that. How does that work if it's genetic? Who knows? If anyone has the science on that to back it up. Wait until later, so in case you spoil, spoil anything. But, if you have reached this far into the video, I want to thank you, because, boy, you've listened to me and my inane thoughts on the matters. And, if you were there recently, you would have known that I back started live-streaming again, and we had an amazing time, and, as was pointed out, I probably shouldn't have been made speechless because that's not really good if you're the face of some sort of show. But anyway, those of you, and you know who you are, pretty much all of you that were there last uh, last stream, are god tier. So, let's try and keep up with that and keep growing this community because, god damn it, this is actually... Uh, this is really starting to become enjoyable, and uh, I don't want it to end. And that, right now, it seems like uh, it's not gonna, unless YouTube deletes my channel. Hmm. But let's not talk that up, because... Ugh. But if you enjoy me and you want to see more, you can help me out by liking the video, and also by subscribing. Um... I would say hit the notification bell as well, but I'm not entirely sure how effective that is. And if you want that extra little added dose of interaction from me, you can join in with the Discord if you haven't already. And, uh, well, you better be prepared for a whole ton of questionable conversations. So thank you again for joining me on the first episode of Demichan, and if you want more, check out any of the playlists on the channel and see if there's anything you've missed. Once again, I'm out of time. I want everyone out there to stay awesome, 
and it's almost 3am so I'm going to get some sleep. You should too.